Hi everyone, it's Melinda again, and today we're going to be looking at one of my favorites, Desert Rose, or Selenite Rose. It actually has a lot of different nicknames. <clears throat> um, so Desert Rose, again, is a nickname. It's given to a rose-like formation of crystal clusters of barite and also gypsum. And selenite is a variety of gypsum, so that's why we often see selenite roses. Um, and they're made up of abundant sand grains, which is really fascinating. <clears throat> Sometimes their radiating flattened crystals are called petals, as a nickname. Uh, you can definitely see why. And the rosette crystal habit tends to occur when the crystals form in, in an arid, sandy condition, like an evaporated, shallow lake basin or something like that. The crystals form a circular array of flat plates. Or, like I said, petals, giving the rock a shape similar to rose blossoms, hence its name. Uh, gypsum roses usually have better defined, sharper edges in their crystals, um, such as the couple that I do have here, uh, rather than barite. Barite roses tend to be a little less defined. Um, and the sizes range about pea-sized to four inches in diameter. I'm particularly in love with this piece it is. Uh, one of my most favorite specimens. Um, so like I said, the desert rose can have other nicknames as well. Uh, sand rose, rose rock, selenite rose, if it's known to be made of selenite. Uh, gypsum rose as well, and that could include selenite roses. Uh, as well as barite rose. This one here... Uh, was purchased and the folks who purchased it <laughs> they purchased it themselves from uh, a retired museums collection and they it, the collection unfortunately did not come with any identification of any of the minerals and they themselves were not very familiar with what they had they called this one a desert rose and claimed that it was from Canada uh, I cannot confirm that. If it is from Canada, I would guess that that it's selenite rather than barite, but again, I can't really say. This one is more typical of what you would see in metaphysical stores or rock shops. It's a selenite rose as well, still selenite. Um, this one is from Mexico. And it has that uh, really stereotypical look of like a peach inner color with white tips at the edge of all of its petals. So beautiful. There we go. And you can see the sand in all of these specimens. And lastly, my favorite. This is a selenite rose, and it's from Winnipeg, Manitoba, here in Canada. It is stunning. It is one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection. See how crystal clear these selenite crystals are? I love the two big ones jutting out from the rose. Isn't that absolutely stunning? They're perfectly terminated. Just gorgeous. All of the crystals, if you get really close to them, are really really transparent really trans translucent Isn't that absolutely amazing <laughs> Earth creates these things. Wow. Right? Amazing.
And there you have it folks, Desert Rose, Selenite Rose. I hope to add more to my collection someday, I absolutely love them. Alright, um, if you've been enjoying my videos, don't forget that they are all posted on my page and on my group. I've done, oh goodness, 11, 12 or so, <laughs> possibly 13 at this point. Uh, so I've covered a lot of different minerals and if you're, you know, finding these interesting, please check those out. Thanks so much again for joining me, guys. See you next time.